Backstage. Time for our third game in this weekend's Family Feud Marathon, in which we're at $609,613. That $10,000 has been elusive to us all game so far. Now, NWB 1989 had to step away to take care of something, but we were able to pick up Mikey. And he's ready to give some dumb answers. <laughs> but of course, Corey's not here, so he can actually get away with it. Our first family hails from Washington, D.C., and they describe themselves as beautiful and responsible. Let's hear it for them. Family number one. Describe themselves as complicated, but mostly zany. Give it up for And Mikey, family. I have myself a Dr. Pepper. Uh -oh. And I'm not ditching it. Our two families will be doing battle for big bucks on the family view. I have Here a Dr. Pepper. The family view. Louis Anderson. Welcome to the field. We've got a great game lined up for you. Let's get started. <laughs> Or ball. Ball. We're gonna play, Louie. You got it. Our number one answer. Are you gonna play? Family number one is going to play. Frisbee. I hope it's up there for you. Oh. Sorry, not on the board. That's strike one. Next player, what's your guess? How about people? Name something dogs like to play with. All right. Yes, indeed. Exactly. Next player, what's your guess? How about a uh, socks? Is it true that Ben now has a dog? Yeah, uh, yeah, he does, but does he know he's got my roommate now? What roommate? Because I noticed in Ben's Family Feud game, as part of his birthday special, I heard a dog bark and he said, Leave Smokey alone, and I heard Smokey meow in pain. Yeah. Something dogs like to play with. Aww. Yeah. 
Right. I'm just glad Smokey's okay, though. Yeah, I heard him say to a dog, leave Smokey alone. An entire survey. That's terrific. Yeah. Family number one, you did it. Way to go. That takes us to the end of this round. Let's check the scoreboard. I'm just glad the only pet I have is Tiger. Let's go. It's time for round two. I need two more players up here. Let's go. You know the drill. A hundred people did the survey. Top five answers up on the board. Good luck. Are you ready? Name a subject on which you and your spouse disagree. Making love. Okay, family number one. If I were to give a dumb answer to this question, I would have said Corey Lawrence. Lawrence. What's going to be up there? Seven. Well, it's there, but three answers are more popular. It's on the board, but it's not in the top spot. Over to the next family. What do you think it is, family number two? TV programs. Let's see if it's up there. I think we'll play. <clears throat> Oh, religion is not there. <sighs> it's not up there. Strike number one. Another player. We need another answer. How about, uh, money? In the subject on which you and your spouse disagree. I want to see that answer. Yes! How about cooking? Name the subject on which you and your spouse disagree. No? Food? You never know what's going to be up there. Seven. Yeah, you! In-laws? No? How about politics? Alright, show me that answer. 
Yeah! One answer left. I will say housework. Name a subject on which you and your spouse disagree. Dang it. Uh, chores? Uh, children. Dang it, I can't type today. There we go. Let's see if it's up there. Yeah, we got it! Didn't give anyone a chance. So that. far, Mikey, we're two for two on clean sweeps. <laughs> that takes us to the end of this round. Let's check the scoreboard. Let's make it, bake it, shake it, take it, and shove it up your. We are building up a big lead, family number one. That we are, old meathead Louie. Okay, it's round three. Let's go. We're coming, Louie. A hundred people surveyed. Top four answers are on the board. We're looking for the most popular answer. Good luck. Are you ready? Yes. When a child moves away from home, name something his parents use his empty bedroom for. How about storage? Okay, family number one. You never know what's going to be up there. It's there, but two H's are more popular. Yes, indeed. Very good. But there's two up there that can beat it. Next family gets a chance. Your answer, family number two. Library? I don't know. Good answer! Good answer! Is it up there? I don't think so. Oh, I think I'll play again. Good answer, but it wasn't in my top four. Player pack. Gonna play? Let's go. How about an office? When a child moves away from home, name something his parents use his empty bedroom for. No, uh... TV room? Good answer! Good answer! Is it up there? Alright. Guest room. When a child moves away from home, name something his parents use his empty bedroom for. All right, show me that answer. All right. Guest room. Now I just gotta get the last answer. How about other children? When a child moves away from home, name something his parents use his empty bedroom for. No? Sewing, maybe? Sewing, yeah! You never know what's gonna be up there. 
We got it! Three for three! Yes, indeed. Way to go! Alright, family number one. You got the points. Just one more regular round, and then we go to fast money. That takes us to the end of this round. Let's check the scoreboard. Oh, camera's low on battery. Remember, families, it's anybody's game. The last round was. I think we can hang on, though. I think we can make it. In round four, points are triple, but you only get one strike. And then, the other family gets a chance to steal. Let's play. A member from each family. Let's go. There are 800 people. Top six answers up on the board. We got a full Here. survey this time. Ready? Name a place that almost always has a slow moving line. Oh, we got this. But I think I'm going to go ahead and switch out the batteries real fast, so we'll be right back. You know, a place that almost always has a slow moving line. That would be the supermarket. Yeah. Is it there? Show us. Yep, number one answer, grocery store. Grocery store. Cool. We'll play. You got it. Our number one answer. We need a decision. Play your pass. Wanna play? Let's yep, play. we're gonna play. That's fair. That's fair. How about a bank? In a place that almost always has a slow moving line. We're in the middle of another breezy Saturday Family Feud PlayStation Marathon. Yeah. Good answer. <laughs> Next player, what's your guess? How about uh, an amusement park? And he said it again, Mikey. Another player, okay. Any answer for it? I'm gonna go with the DMV. Name a place that almost always has a slow moving line. Let's see if it's up there. How about the movie theater? In a place that almost always has a slow moving line. Is it there? Let's see. Yeah! Good answer! Good answer! Ah! <laughs> if I get the last answer, we got a clean sweep and we're going to fast money. I'll go with post office. Dirt. Dirt. Dang it, I can't type. There. I want to see that answer. Are we off to fast money? You bet we are. Cool. You got all of them. Well done. So, Mikey, are you ready for fast money? Are you ready to give a dumb answer? Yeah. <laughs> wow. 
So am I. <laughs> Dumb answers. Got 514 points this time. Nice work, everyone. Moving on to our fast money box is our top money winner. Family A shot at $10,000 in cash. Who's going to play fast money? I need two players from your family, and we'll get going. We're ready. $10,000 on the line here, baby. We have our first player. Good luck. The clock won't start until I finish reading the first question. All right, Mikey, your first question is, name a book you go to for answers. Uh, dictionary. Good answer. Name a bird of prey. Uh, uh, pumpkin. Good one. <laughs> What's the worst color to paint a room? Uh, um, red. Well, that's the color of my room, but okay. Name a beverage served on airplanes. Okay. And you got one last opportunity for a dumb answer. And here's the question. Ah! <laughs> you gave a dumb answer on this question before. Are you ready? What's that? Name something wrapped in cellophane. You said the dictionary. Is that what I said? 51! Great answer! Name a bird of prey. Bird of prey, a falcon. Survey said? Six. You're up there. What's the worst color to paint a room? You said my color, my room, red. Survey said? 13. I'm not offended. Beverage served on airplanes. You said Falcon. No, you said orange juice. Six. Finally? I mean something wrapped in cellophane. Something wrapped in cellophane. You said fake tits. That got nothing. 76 points. Okay. Same five questions. So I need 124, but I can do it. I'm ready. Here we go. Name a book you'd go to for answers. Encyclopedia. Name a bird of prey. Um, a vulture. What's the worst color to paint a room? White. No. Uh, how about orange? Soda. Uh, meat. Let's check it out and see how you did. We're ready, Louie. Name a book you go to for answers. Dictionary number one. I said encyclopedia. Survey said 39. Name a bird of prey. I said a vulture. Survey said nothing. Maybe an owl. It's okay. What's the worst color to paint a room? I said orange. Survey said 12. Well, we're getting somewhere. Name a beverage served on I said soda. Will they accept soda? They will. 34. Now it all comes down to the last answer. Did 39 people say meat is wrapped in cellophane? Did we get it? 20. We came up 19 short. Still our winning family, though.
Congratulations. That's all right. Nine hundred five dollars a point. Nine hundred five plus five hundred fourteen. That's one thousand four hundred nineteen dollars. That ten thousand dollars has been elusive to us all game. Hope you had fun on the feud. See you soon. Be good to your That's all right though. Remember, you're stuck with right now we're at six hundred eleven thousand thirty-two dollars. We'll see y'all for game four in just a little bit. But first, Mikey, you got anything you want to say? I didn't even give the signal, I just did it without warning. We'll see y'all for the next part in just a little bit.